Hey, the geeks are here. And by the way, their New Year's resolution is to take their dancing skills to the next level, if that's possible. I mean, I, you guys are already at the top of your game, so. That's true. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about Hatchimals earlier and the struggles of getting one and then whether or not they work. There's a few other gift items that were pretty tough to get leading up to the holiday. Right, absolutely. And now that Christmas is over, hopefully stock will start to go up and we're starting to see that. One of the hottest gifts that we talked about even on a radio show was the Nintendo Classic. It's a mini version of the original Nintendo from 1985. It's got some of the old games, it right? It has 30 games on it. So yeah. if you think about it, for 60 bucks, that's $2 that's a amazing. game. Yeah. And it hooks right up to your TV with the original controller. So anyone who's feeling nostalgic, and yeah. I think this is the year for nostalgia, yeah. this is a pretty cool gift. You can still sometimes show, find them at the local electronics store, certainly online, but I'm still seeing prices about twice to three times that $60 price. Oh, really? Yeah. So but maybe here in the days to come, they'll become a little more available. I've been seeing that, yeah. so I think that's going to happen. Okay, Snapchat glasses? Also, oh, the uh, Snap Spectacles. Snap I mean, you're, spectacles. we're talking about gifts that we did not get. Okay. <laughs> and these were another that you one wanted. <laughs> yeah. that I wanted. And these are also very difficult to get because they, they set up these things called Snap Bots. Okay. And they're like pop-up stores. Mm. So those are the only places you can get them. Now, on my, my Snapchat feed, I've been seeing some of the Hawaii people get them, but they're very, you know, it's very isolated. And so basically what it is is, is spectacles that you can actually turn on and it'll record like a 10 second video. So I could be actually looking at you, mm -hmm. doing a, you know, doing an interview. Having a regular conversation. That's right, and yeah. then I'll be, I'll be I can record tape. it, and yeah. I can put it up on uh, Snapchat. So the thing is, it, it automatically wirelessly connects it to memories, and then from memories, you can go into your story. Mm. And so I've been seeing people, you know, do it while they're driving. It's uh -huh. interesting. Yeah. The other thing that they suggest is that you do it so that you can show your hands, so it's like you're, you're, you're not doing something else with your hands, I guess. Well, you could also instructions on how to do something. You could absolutely, you, from absolutely. the point well, of view of the person that's doing whatever the task right, may be. Right, but it's yeah. it's sort of more of a fun thing because it's still yeah. limited by your 10 second uh, oh, viewing. Yeah. Okay. Right? Yeah. Now the, the you know you can only lot. actually do like a hundred before it runs out of power. Right. And then you have to put it back in its case and get it powered. Uh, there's uh, earbuds, but now today what you want are. AirPods, AirPods. <laughs> okay, right, which so are wireless uh, headsets, basically. That's right. Now, if you remember with the iPhone 7, they removed the headphone jack. It was such a controversy, and they said, don't worry, we've got AirPods coming. And then it was delayed for months and months and months. Right. They finally came out right before Christmas. I was stalking online for them to show up yeah. when uh, they came to the local stores, and you can still kind of pick them up that way. But the good thing about it is when you attach it to your phone, it you don't need to do any of the weird pairing that you normally have to do for Bluetooth. They oh, just automatically I'll be connect. Fine. You're fine. But what they're really known for, of course, is their very small size. It's even hard to focus on. Yeah. But they sit in your ears very comfortably. I, even though I have an abnormally large head, I have small ears, and these <laughs> do not fall out even when I'm walking. Now, a around. lot of people say, uh, talk about losing them or losing one. Well, it, has that been a problem for you? I've only had it a week. We'll find out. I definitely <laughs> lose things. I think, <laughs> though, weeks. with something that's this expensive, this is $160, yeah. you probably take a little better care of it. But what I like about it, of course, is that it's got beam forming microphones mm -hmm. that people who I've talked to on the phone using these can't even tell that I'm not talking directly into oh, the really? phone. Oh, really? Good, so good sound. It's pretty good high sound quality. We're out of time, but I need to know what you're doing do on the radio. <laughs> well, we're actually going to talk uh, talk about doing business in Asia. We're talking about the tech scene mm -hmm. in Asia. Okay. So we got a couple of experts coming on. We'll All talk right. about that. Five o'clock tonight, 89.3 uh, Bite Marks Cafe. It's Ryan, it's Bert, it's the geeks right here on Sunrise. We'll take a break and be back with more uh, in just what How can they improve on this? I mean, seriously. <laughs> Come back. Come back. <laughs> <laughs>